Thank you for joining me here in the church of Kærde, Fjone, Denmark. My name is Susanne Andersen. I'm the vicar here in Kærde and also with the churches of Skødebjerg and Orde. I live in the local vicarage, just next to this church, with my husband Karsten Lundsby. He used to work as a course director and teacher at Nordic Agricultural College in Odense, and he sends warm greetings to friends all over the world. All churches in Denmark are closed these weeks. The coronavirus has closed them, as well as the services. For how long? We don't know. It is an unfortunate situation. This, this church used to be open in the daytime. It is an open church. We call it a road church because you can stop your bicycle ride or your car ride on the road and have a nice rest here in the church and outside the church. And of course anybody in the village can come here, open the church door and go in and have a quiet time with oneself and with God. That's how it used to be. I practice that myself, or I used to. I used to go up here to the church, say a prayer, look at the altar piece, the crucifix, and read the names of people through history who had this church as their local church, their family church. As I sit here, I used to wonder what became their life, lifeline, how they spent their last days, and who became their descendants. I wonder what they had to live through with sorrow and delight, how they lived for better or for worse in sickness and in health. I think of all the prayers that have been said here in the church. Lately in these Corona days, I have also been thinking of some certain words from the New Testament in the chapter 5 in James. Sorry, it was chapter 4. Now listen, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live, live and do this or that. Well, just some weeks ago, before the world was struck by this coronavirus, some might think of this little quote from the Bible. Well, isn't it just a bit unfashioned, a bit moralizing? I'd say it is not. In these hard times, we must realize that it is so. It is true. We don't know what our lives will be tomorrow. All our plans of working and traveling, parties and celebrations, trade and industry. We have not an idea of our life tomorrow. We 
can only hope and pray and wait. And if it is the Lord's will, we shall live and do this or that. Hope, pray and wait. On the altar piece here in the church in Cardiff, we see Jesus with dusty feet in his sandals. The picture shows Jesus with the children from chapter 10 in the Gospel of Mark, the one used in the ritual of baptism in our church. It says, people were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them. But the disciples rebuked them. And when Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. Amen. Now in these corona times we are vulnerable, like little children. We receive the kingdom of God like little children. The kingdom of God is a gift of grace. Dear all of you, vulnerable like little children, we must hope, wait and pray. If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, we pray for all people who suffer from a disease, be it the new coronavirus or any other sickness or disease. We pray for the sick in our country and for all ill people all over the world. Amen. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Amen.